Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video for some fun in catching fish. McFly subscribers, I'm out fishing today. And I actually uh, found this spot. So I've been here, as you guys might know, already a couple weeks. Um, it's been about one and a half weeks. Uh, by the time this video comes out, probably three weeks. Uh, it'll take a while for me to edit it. But I found an app. Well, actually, I found it a long time ago. I've been using the app. Uh, and it's really nice to use when I'm at a new place. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys again about it. It's Fish Brain. <clears throat> and it really helps me uh, find spots. Basically, I look on a map and uh, it allows me to find where other people are catching fish. Uh, so this uh, seems pretty decent. So right here is where it is, right down there. Um, <clears throat> right out there is the uh, Sacramento River. And right here is called Butte Sloth or something like that. And it goes back that way. It's another little creek, kind of slow moving creek. And in this uh, creek, there's bass, there's crappie, there's catfish, there's, you know, it's, it's kind of like lake fishing in a way, but it dumps into uh, the river, and I'm really close to it here, and there's a lot of striper in that, that uh, into uh, the Sacramento River, so I'm guessing that they might come up too, so there might be possibility for some striper. Um, later in the season when I'm legally allowed to fish for them, uh, some salmon maybe. Uh, but it's pretty close to where I'm staying. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's not not bad at all. And it's a uh, legal place to fish. The problem with the Sacramento River is it's so fast moving, you can't just wait it. So even though I'm right next to it, I can't get down into it. And it's really steep banks. You can see on the other side of the river over there, it's really steep. Um, and then, it, I mean, it drops down, like, instantly. So you can't go wading in it, and it's really tough to shore fish along the bank special on a fly rod. So I use that fish brain app and I was able to see what people have caught um, in different places and it seems like some of the best fish were caught right here. I'm guessing because the way that the river, river moves in and out um, it's probably really good for the fish. But yeah, uh, like I said, bass, crappie, catfish, uh, possible, um, possible for some striped bass. Um, but yeah, largemouth bass is mainly what they're catching here. Uh, so, I brought a five weight, I also brought my four weight, and I'm gonna go give it a go with some poppers and streamers and stuff like that. Yeah guys, go check out that Fish Brain app, um, it's definitely uh, helped me find spots in the past, and I'm, I, this looks really good, so I'm guessing I'll be able to catch fish here as well. Um, it just looks uh, really, really good looks fishy, you know what I mean? And I'll put a link in the description section for uh, the Fish Brain app so you guys can go uh, check that out. Just download it on your phone, it gives you all the info. And then you can post, oh, I just saw a fish jump, nice. You can post what you've caught if you want. You don't have to, but you can. And a um, number of people do, and it allows you to choose kind of what bait you used if you want to say it, uh, what um, you know time of day or whatever it may be, what species, you can post a picture. Um, and share that info with other people and that's kind of how you get the info of where to go fish as well um, It's kind of like a social media for fishing. Uh, so it's pretty cool uh, There is a free version and then you can pay for the upgraded version So I went home, ate lunch, and I came back, and there's people stacked up deep at that spot. Um, I actually went home and got a different rod also, something with the sink tip line because I was having trouble getting down far enough for them. Seems like they're pretty deep right there. Just a little bit of time, someone took the spot. There's like seven people with like 15 different rods right there. So, small spot, there's no way I'm gonna fly fish. So. I came along here, it was just right down the street, it's just right up there, came right down around here, but it's a really like steep slope here and I don't think I can, and this is the, I'd have to get out real far, um, this is, 
the Sacramento River. It's a little tough. This might be it for the day for me. Today is another day. I came back down and I sat for like an hour and a half just waiting and the people never left. They just kept fishing. It was like three, three hours that they were there. And I finally just called it quits and went home. And back today, this is the day I could go fish. And I'm back to the same spot and I'm gonna try it again. I did get a couple bites, but they were short hitting it. So also I had to get really deep. So I'm bringing my six weight with, a, um, with my heavy sink line and I'm gonna get down uh, quicker to them. And hopefully I can start catching fish. Seems like, um, I didn't realize it would be this deep, but it's like 22 feet there. So, at least that's what I was told by a guy that was fishing next to me um, before that big group of people came. So it's super windy. Um, yeah, really windy. Okay guys, so it is way windy, really tough to get a cast. I lost a couple flies um, hitting uh, the back bank because the way that the wind was going or catching into a bush. Uh, it's really tough to fly fish at that spot and I'm not getting any bites. It is so mucky in there, I don't think the fish can see the flies. So. When I was down, I was watching those people that were fishing. They caught a couple bass, um, little kids, you know, and they were using worms because of the smell. So the fish in that mucky, really muddy water aren't hearing my flies come by because, you know, flies don't push a lot of water. Not like a bass lure, like if you're conventional bass fishing, so something with a paddle tail or whatever is vibrating the water. Uh, flies just don't do that. I don't have any in my arsenal right now that have rattles or anything like that. I have one and I casted it. And like the second cast, I <laughs> wind blew and knocked me into a, a bush. And there went that. So I just don't have the supplies. I am, I love fly fishing, but I love fishing in general. It doesn't have to be fly fishing. As you guys know, I made a video where I went out and conventional fish in the ocean. Um, I have no problem with conventional fishing. I know a lot of you fly fishermen are uh, fly fishing only. Kinda, you know, hate the other kind of fishing. Um, anything that's not fly fishing. And even certain types of fly fishing might be, you know, your dry fly only or whatever. Um, and that's fine, I, I get that. You know, it is much more enjoyable to fly fish, I think but I'm not catching any. I really want to catch some. <laughs> this is the only spot I know of around here. Again, that app, uh, Fish Brain, really, I mean, a lot of people are catching here, but again, they're all conventional fishing. Uh, drop into the bottom, it's super deep, it's a straight drop down, really hard to get down to where the fish are with a fly rod, even my fast sink tip. I have to cast it out and wait about four minutes, and by that time, it's, it's, it's weird, it's doing its own thing down there and I ha I'm not really connected to it, so maybe I'm getting bites and I don't even know. Um, just because the turbulence in the water from the way that the pipes are moving water from that side of the river, you know, right. to the other. Thank God there's no one here. Because last time I went to get something and I came back, it was filled with a lot of people. <laughs> anyway, got worms. Um, I need bait hooks. I've got a lot of fly tying hooks, but they're smooth and they're just not gonna hold bait very well. So I had to get something with like little barbs in it. They only had these uh, snelled, already pre-snelled hooks. It was a small little place. They didn't have a lot, but a couple little weights and a swivel. So I'm just gonna do a dropper loop 
and then put the worm up a little higher and hopefully catch some fish. Finally caught a fish there. Oh man, that was a really good sized bluegill. My goodness. Um, now I know kind of how to fish there. Bait, probably. Um, or little little things that a uh, bluegill are going to hit. Um, it looks like I was casting too far out. You really want to be right on shore right there. Uh, just kind of drop down. Uh, maybe some nymphs and stuff. So I'm going to run home. Get my... Uh, three weight. I'm gonna go try for some little bluegill. That was a good size bluegill. My goodness. Got a couple uh, bluegill, and boy was it fun on that little uh, two weight. So that was the two weight um, that I own, and that's what I brought. I couldn't remember if it was the two weight or the three weight that I brought with me. Now I broke a a rule, and I'm sure every single fly fisherman out there is probably gonna chew me out. <laughs> I put bait on a fly rod, um, a worm, because they weren't hitting the nymphs, they weren't doing anything, they were just eating bait. They were eating the worms fine. I got three of them on that. 
I mean, for me, I like catching fish. Obviously, there's fish in there. I've seen a bunch of big boys jumping out a little further out that I can't reach with the fly rod, especially on a windy day like this. I'm, but just dropping bait right there um, worked. But I didn't have a tiny little spinning rod, so figured do it on the fly rod, right? So I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it from um, some of you about it, and most of you will probably be like, hey, I would do the same thing, right? So for me, I like catching fish. Uh, I prefer to catch it on a fly, but it's all that I had the ability to do. Now, thanks to the Fish Brain app, I was actually able to uh, fish here. I really wouldn't have known about it except for that Fish Brain app. I started looking around for places that people were catching fish and look like right here. And I saw quite a few brought in, bass, bluegill, crappie. Definitely I'll uh, put a link to Fish Brain app in the description section. Hey, say hi to me on there. Uh, you'll be able to find me, McFly Angler, I think is the, the uh, handle or whatever they call it on there. You'll be able to find me on there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.